Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and today I will be showing you how I transferred a legitimate Pokemon generated in my Nintendo GameCube all the way to Pokemon Sword on my Nintendo Switch. I am doing this because I'm pretty sure that GameCube generated Pokemon are the furthest distance from Pokemon Sword and Shield that can still be brought into Sword and Shield. In case you didn't know, the Gen 1 and 2 cartridge games cannot ever connect to the rest of the main series. While you can still get Gen 1 and Gen 2 Pokemon into Sword and Shield, they can only come from the virtual console. Pokemon generated on the cartridge versions of the Gen 1 and 2 games are stuck there forever. That means that the furthest back games which can generate Pokemon that can then be brought to Sword and Shield are the Gen 3 games. And while you're very likely aware of the five main series Gen 3 games, there are two more. The spin-off games on the GameCube, Pokemon Colosseum, and its sequel, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Pokemon from these games can be traded to the mainline Gen 3 games, and then of course, brought all the way down the line. So how does one accomplish this? Well, I will show you, because I did it, and it was very fun. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and let's dive into how I transferred a Pokemon from a GameCube to a Nintendo Switch. I decided to pick a Pokemon from Colosseum, because my memory card had a progressed save file for Colosseum and didn't have anything for XD, so this was more efficient. My first step is selecting a Pokemon from Colosseum to be the one I transfer, but I'm limited in what I can pick. There are 52 obtainable Pokemon in Colosseum, the 48 Shadow Pokemon, plus Espeon, Umbreon, Plusle, and Ho-Oh, but as of writing this video, before the expansion passes come out, only 16 can be sent to Sword and Shield. I selected Tyranitar, since it's a really strong Pokemon that I think would be fun to use in my sword. I obtained Tyranitar in my battle against the leader of the evil team, Cypher, named Evis, during which I steal it from him. In case you didn't know, the central mechanic of Colosseum and XD is that you have to steal Pokemon from other trainers, but they are corrupted shadow Pokemon, and you are stealing them for the purpose of saving them by purifying them and thus returning them to normal. I used the Master Ball on the Tyranitar because the battle was close, and if I didn't snag it now, it might cause me to lose the entire thing. Doing so results in me beating the game's main story, which is important because that's necessary to move the Tyranitar off the game. But before I can remove it from the game, I have to purify it, because Shadow Pokemon cannot be removed from Colosseum or XD, until they're purified. You can achieve this by sending it into battle, calling it back from hyper mode, which is a mode it enters in battle sometimes, walking around with it in your party, leaving it at the game's daycare, or using cologne massages on it. And these methods have different effectivenesses depending on the Pokemon's nature. It took a while, because I think Tyranitar is coded to be harder to purify than a lot of the other Pokemon but I eventually did it and nicknamed it Colossus. This name both sounds like a cool name for a kaiju-inspired Pokemon, but it's also a reference to its home game, Colosseum. Now that Tyranitar is purified, I head to the Fennec City Pokemon Center basement to initiate the trade. I hook up my Game Boy Advance SP to the GameCube using the connector wire, and it must be a Game Boy Advance for this step, since Nintendo DS systems aren't compatible with the connecting wire. Before long, my Colosseum has a random Wurmple, and my Sapphire has Colossus. Side note, I love this sprite of Tyranitar. It looks like it just came home and its kids have turned the house into a mess, and it's just like, what the hell, guys? Now, I could just go ahead and transfer this Tyranitar to my Gen 4 game, but there's something I want to do first. Get Jirachi. My copy of Colosseum all those years ago came with the Colosseum bonus disc which allows me to dispense unlimited Jirachis from it into copies of Ruby and Sapphire, one Jirachi per save file. I hook up my game again, and now I have both Colossus and a spicy Gen 3 Jirachi. Now comes the next step of moving the Pokemon from Gen 3 to Gen 4. This step has to be done on a DS, not a 3DS, since the system needs a slot for the Game Boy Advance cartridge. I boot up the game and attempt to migrate Pokemon, but because my Platinum had previously been in my 3DS, it wasn't synced to this DS's clock. 
I had to resync it since saying no kicked me back out to the menu, but now it won't let me migrate Pokemon for 24 hours. Just, just why? Why was this a thing? 24 hours later, I get to try again, and this time it works. I select Tyranitar, Jirachi, and four random Pokemon from my Sapphire to be transferred, since it has to be a group of six. At least, I think it does. I execute the transfer, then head to Pal Park. I am given six Park Balls, which will catch the Pokemon I encounter without fail. I find Gulpin in the forest area, then all five others in the mountain area. Tyranitar and Jirachi are now in Gen 4. I can move on to the next step immediately by opening up my Black 2 version on my 3DS and heading to the transfer lab on Route 15. I initiate the process by going to DS Download Play on the DS and selecting my Black 2 game. I pick the same six Pokemon, then have to play this goofy mini game where you sling Pokeballs at the Pokemon hopping around this field of bushes. I thought this occurred on my Gen 5 game, not the Gen 4 game, hence why I didn't have my Platinum in my Capture Card 3DS. So please excuse this goofy footage of me trying to film the game with one hand and play with the other. After I complete the game, the Pokemon transfer is complete, and the six Pokemon are in my PC box in Black 2. Colossus and Jirachi have now moved up to Gen 5, but the next stop is not Gen 6. I move Tyranitar and Jirachi to Box 1, along with the other four Pokemon, just for fun, even though it's not necessary. I then switch to Poke Transporter, which pulls all Pokemon out of my Box 1 into my Pokemon Bank. Once that's done, I switch cartridges to a 3DS Pokemon game and open Bank, then move the Pokemon from the Transport Box to Box 1. Now, while I could bring Tyranitar and Jirachi into a Gen 6 or Gen 7 game, I'm not going to, because there's no need to. Gens 5, 6, and 7 games, plus Gens 1 and 2 Virtual Console games, all feed directly into Pokemon Bank. So, because of this, the number of steps required to move Pokemon from past games into Generation 8 is the same for five of the seven older generations. Well, for the most part, Poke Transporter is, I guess, technically an extra step for Gens 1, 2, and 5, but it's a short one. Now that the Pokemon are firmly in my bank, not the transport box, I open up Pokemon Home on my Nintendo Switch. I select Connect to 3DS and pick the Home option on Bank. I pick Box 1, input the connection code, and then I'm done with the 3DS. After a very short wait, I can open up Pokemon Home linked to my Pokemon Sword and take a look at Colossus and Jirachi and how they appear in Pokemon Home. After a very simple drag and drop, the two of them have now been placed into my Pokemon Sword. Upon taking a look at Tyranitar's summary, I happen to notice and learn for the first time that the ribbon he got for being purified all the way back in Colosseum can give him the title of the Triumphant. Holy crap, that's one of the coolest things I think I've ever seen! I now have a Tyranitar named Colossus the Triumphant, along with a legitimate Gen 3 Jirachi in a Pokeball. I will definitely be EV training and hyper training and nature minting and all that jazz to these two Pokemon because I think it's really awesome that I have these cool retro Pokemon in the most modern Pokemon game. And I want to use them. So to recap, obtain a Pokemon in Colosseum or XD, purify it if it was Shadow, beat the game, trade it to a Gen 3 game using a Game Boy Advance and the GameCube connector cable, transfer it to Gen 4 using a DS and Pal Park, transfer it to Gen 5 using two DSs and the Transport Lab, use Poke Transporter on a 3DS to move it into Bank, move the Pokemon out of the transfer box, use your Switch and 3DS to transfer the Pokemon to Home, then move it from Home into your Sword or Shield. And thus my quest to move a former Shadow Pokemon all the way from a Nintendo GameCube game up into my Pokemon Sword is complete. I thought this was pretty fun and pretty freaking cool, and I definitely want to do it with more Pokemon once more Pokemon are added to Sword and Shield. Or once I create an XD save file. Thank you so much for watching and an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support me independent of fluctuating YouTube ad revenue. 
you want to help support the channel and get some cool perks in exchange like your name at the end of the video, head to the link in the description below. Also, if you want to check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, like something here on this channel or the Metronome Battle Federation on my second channel, you can click one of these things. All right, that's all I have for now. So till next time, advance. Gotta catch them all.